everyone, welcome back to my channel, it's Irene and today's video, surprise surprise, is going to be a sewing pattern video because I am a sewing pattern hoarder as a minimalist, it's weird to say, but I have so many sewing patterns that I couldn't fit them into one single video, so I've chosen out of my so summer sewing patterns, 10 out of all of them, uh, randomly that I'm going to be talking about most of them half of them are vintage and half of them are vintage reproduction So you can buy those and the other ones you can try your luck on Etsy. So let's go So the first one is a Vogue pattern number 5620 like this It's hard to show you guys, but yeah um, so it has two versions, one of them has frills and the other one does not and I like mostly this one but I like both and I think I would like to make the blue one in a beigey creamy linen fabric I don't know when but I will be doing that and actually this one uh, of course it's a vintage pattern and it was in my Etsy wishlist for almost a year now and I've been wanting to grab it but it was quite pricey for uh, you know woke, woke vintage patterns I usually pricier than the other ones, I think. Um, so it went on sale and I grabbed it immediately. And so yeah, this one. So another one is this beautiful dress pattern with a bolero. It's also vintage, of course. Um, it's missing the back piece for the bolero, which is mm, a shame because I really like the bolero, but I love also the dress. And I made this version with the uh, non-lacy uh, non -lacy fronts of this dress which I'm wearing right now. This is my latest sew and I'm so so happy with it. I'm so so happy with it. I love it and I think I would like to make it again with um, an orange linen that I have, maybe. Um, this is a Simplicity 2861. I believe this is quite rare and it's very battered but the pattern pieces were okay so I could make it. So the next one is an advanced skirt, 5529, again vintage. I'm sorry for those of you who were expecting um, more modern patterns that you can purchase. I have some reproductions that you can purchase, but right now I started with the vintage, vintage ones that maybe you can't find the same, but you should totally check on Etsy, maybe you can. So this is an advanced 5529. It is a beautiful 1950s skirt. It's the swishy, a princess skirt that we all know and love. I would like to make this with a um, sort of a um, half sheer yellow gingami fabric. I think it was made of tensile or rayon. Uh, I will put a picture of it on the screen. I would like to pair it with my white shirt that I made for my Queen's Gambit project, which if you don't know about, you can click the link above. And um, I would like to pair it with the shirt that I made for that project. And I think it's gonna be a perfect um, substitute for the outfit that she wore, which I'm gonna show you on the screen. <laughs> so the next one is again a dress pattern. This is a Vogue 9253. And when I say Vogue vintage pattern, you know that it's gonna be something nice. Um, so I really love this. I think it's such a cool, pretty, I don't know, amazing. I love the green one. Um, I would like to make it actually with the same green uh, linen that I found from the fabric store and I don't know when, but I would love to do it. I love that it has princess seams. I think it has princess seams and darts. That's weird. I've never sewn princess seams, but I don't think that's how it's supposed to be. Well, whatever. And um, I really love also the glasses she's wearing. It's really cool. If I could find vintage glasses like that, that would be the coolest outfit ever. Um, and you know, guys, I was actually never wearing skirts or dresses as a kid. I was quite a tomboy, so quite a U-turn as a grown-up. I'm wearing skirts and dresses all the time now. So the next one, I believe I've already talked about, but this is absolutely one of my favorite sewing patterns that I own. It is an Advance 6458, and I don't think this one is quite rare because I have two of them uh, accidentally. That was that's a long story. Uh, so I'm sure you can find uh, at some point on Etsy. It's three different shirts like this. I think they are so, so, so gorgeous. They look sort of sailory, like I would love to wear this on a boat if I had a boat. <laughs> which I don't um, but yeah I would love to make this and wear it sort of in a beachy town like uh, Cassis here around where I live 
and that's the dream that's what I think I will make next actually this might be my next project so this next one I believe is the oldest one I own and it came all the way from Australia uh, that is life you are from 19 I believe 43 but I will double check and you are now today 2022 in France so that is like Vogue pattern 5089 it is a beautiful 40s laundry nightgown and I am in love and I have a crepe in a sort of creamy blushy white uh, I can't explain it I thought it was gonna be just a normal white but it turned out like that so I couldn't use it for the project that I wanted it to be used for uh, so now I think I'm gonna use it for this I think it's perfect and here in France there is a lace called Calais lace which I think could be so perfect around the you know in the front and I could look that up as well so now it's time to show you the ones that are reproduction so they are vintage but you can buy as many of them as you want because they are copies so the first one these are all from Lady Marlowe on Etsy if you don't know Lady Marlowe you should meet Lady Marlowe because she's awesome so this is I think these are all Vogue she tends to sell Vogue but it doesn't say on the packaging so I'm not gonna tell you what they're I just I can tell you the numbers so this one is a um, presumably Vogue 6783 um, the picture is so pretty that's why I think it's a Vogue and I made this last summer. This was my first sewing project. I made uh, this one and this one. They both turned out super cute and it felt like the most complicated thing in the world back then but today I think it's very simple and you can do it. Um, it was, you know, quite interesting because the instructions of vintage sewing patterns are quite vague and like mind bendy. so when you first read them you really have to use you know a magnifying glass and you have to reread every sentence because in one sentence you have like three no uh, three informations on how to do the steps because back then i guess people were better at sewing anyways i'm rambling so yeah this is perfect summer tops from um 1940s or 50s looks like 50s actually these are beach beach tops but we can today wear it outside anywhere because we became a uh, sort of sluts Next is again Lady Marlowe, presumably Vogue 6466, Mrs. Sport Dress. I don't know what makes them think this is a sport dress, but it is one of the most beautiful dresses I have ever seen. And I have started making it with a beige gingham. Actually, it looks so much like a dress that I saw years ago from Faithful the Brand, and I missed it. I didn't buy it, and I regretted it so much. Uh, but now I can make it for myself, so that's great. So next again, Lady Marlowe, 6453 um, toppers. Are they called toppers? I've never seen people refer to blouses as toppers, but whatever, I guess. Uh, these are pretty, pretty, pretty blouses, and I feel like this one you would find in rouge. So um, it's very fancy and also like very useful because you can sort of wear them with whatever you want, and they look like they're easy to make. So I bought this, I have never made it, but I think it's great to have if I want some blouses that look sort of fancy and vintagey and I want some basics in my wardrobe. So the next one is again Lady Marlowe, this time it is a 6812 and it says Mrs. Mrs. Uh, three piece sport ensemble and that makes no sense and you will see why. Does this look like... Uh, what happened to us? We were doing sports wearing this kind of thing and today we're wearing sweaty leggings and going to the sweaty gym what happened to us? People are wearing this. This for me is a, a fancy event outfit, okay? This is a fancy event outfit. I love it, by the way. It is a bust 30, so that's why I didn't make it yet because I bought it last year when I first started sewing and I didn't know how to create patterns. But now I do because I have done it with this for the first time. I was too scared to do it because I'm scared of math, but I learned that and I'm so excited to make this. I think this would be perfect with a linen or a cotton or even a rayon fabric, whatever I managed to find. Um, so yeah, they are really, really pretty. They knew how to do, how to be stylish back then. 
and this was the last pattern. So this is the end of this video guys, I hope you liked my selection of 10 sewing patterns and I hope that you got inspired for your own sewing projects. Thank you so much for watching, let me know in the comments below which ones were your favorite patterns and if you're gonna make any let me know, send me messages, show me pictures, I would love to know. See you in the next video, bye!